Hello. So, uh, because I'm so thrilled with how his legs are now, which is really, really lame when you think about it, but because of that, I thought it's time to uh, review another Titan's Return Deluxe beastie. And that is to say, Titan's Return Deluxe Twin Inferno, and this lighting is not going to work. Well, at least you can see that, but the heads are so washed out. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> see, I wasn't sure about this guy when I first picked him up at the shop, because uh, I picked up Trigger Happy, I grudgingly picked up Heart Rod, which turned out to be a great buy. And I saw the Breakaway, and I was like, yeah, no, I don't want a white chrome down, thanks. And I saw this guy there, and I'm like, do I want him, do I not want him? But they were like £12.50, so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll take a punt on it. And quite glad I did. Let's explain. He is an... Well, it's Double Cross. This is an updated version of G1 Double Cross. Which is like one of the monster bots, something like that, the G1. Uh, he's quite a nice little thing. Um, I've been thinking about it just before I did this review, and he's basically like, um, the way they've got him designed, he's like a really stumpy-tailed T-Rex with two heads and wings. About the best way of describing him. Um, because he's got this big flat body and these little legs, which are actually quite detailed. That's like fur design. You know, like mechanical fur. Fur on the arms. And really short tail, which doesn't always like to stay together, so uh, I'll talk about that in a bit. And then these semi-translucent wings, which is a bit weird, but they look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and he's just got these two little rain heads. There you are. Uh, can you see some of that? I've had to alter the camera so you can see, but there is a little bit of detail on there, not much. Like, literally not much. Um, but they open, they've got like little moulded in tongues and stuff, and that's about it. But they're, they're kind of cute, you know, and they, they move around. Little arms on a ball joint. Uh, something I didn't realise, because I thought the legs were just like that. They have actually got in and out motion. So you can get him busting moves, if you prefer. The legs bend. And he's got a little toe. Goes further, but you know. And yeah, he's a neat little thing. Um, weapons store on the back. Uh, they just use these big tabs here by my nail. Um, you can sit a Titan's Return figure in there. They've got little pegs and stuff, but why would you? But they just plug into those two slots there. And there's two pegs to stand on it if you really want to. Not sure you can really justify that as a flying dragon mode, can you? Maybe. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just you know do that and give him a seat. A chariot with guns on top of a double-headed dragon. Okay, that sounds really awesome when you put it like that. Um, <clears throat> there are holes in the wings there. So you can plug the handles of the guns. You can do it individually, I'm just going to do this just to show you can. Hey look, you can plug guns into it. I think it looks silly, but, you know, your choice. Uh, curiosity, there he is without the guns, in case you don't want the guns on for whatever reason, you want to leave them somewhere and get them lost. But yeah, he's he's alright. Um, apparently the G1 had a little black spinning disc on the body, uh, on the chest, so they've actually put one there for you. It's a little black spinning. It doesn't spin, it's just malted, but it is there, so that was nice of them. Uh, the only other thing is, you can open the body. You've got a little dude sitting in there. Hello! Doesn't always want to... There you go. And you can close it back up. And I have completely forgotten his name. Because I don't care about the headmasters. But you got this little dude, and although you cannot see any of it... Can you see some of it there? From what you cannot make out, it's basically like a lion with a monocle. That's what his face looks like. It's like a lion with a monocle. He's got one little light lump over the eye there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a, a camera or a lens or something. But he looks a bit like a lion with a monocle. Which isn't necessarily bad, it's just weird. Um, 
there's not that much detail, so you're not really losing much. Uh, standard little legs and blah blah blah, and yeah, whatever. But you don't care about the little fellas like this. You care about when they do this. When they turn into the heads. Aha! Heads. I'll put that down. And we'll get on to transformation. Bring the arms up like this. Bring the arms up like this. And I always rush this bit. So we'll do the legs first. Because that bit's more fun, but we'll do the legs first. Bring the camera up a bit. Right. <clears throat> Where are we? So fold the toes all the way back. Might bring the camera down, uh, light him down a bit for this. Here we go. Toes all the way down. Toes all the way down. And then you fold the legs all the way in. And all the way in. Uh, which And fold them so that the toes are pointing down. So he's like that. Okay. And then, this is a little bit fiddly, these grey pieces here, just about tap in there, and it's a little bit to get them loose. There you go. All right. So yeah, that it should open. And you get this, and it should open. Okay. Then you split the tail, which wants to come apart anyway. Split the tail, get it out like that, and then you fold. Well, this should split it if it hasn't already. Split these, then you fold it down. So you just fold this over. Okay. Then you get this black piece, fold it up, and it just about clips into place. But you you might not even feel it, but it it does clip into place. There you go. I just fold these down along the sides. Turn around, and there are your legs. So, the beast mode legs become feet, and the hip joint, as it was, is now used for foot articulation. That's quite clever. Can't complain, that's quite clever. Now on to the fun part. You get this whole section here, and you've got to basically feel like you're snapping it in the middle. There you go. Break it. And fold it over. Now this is what I usually forget. I usually forget to take this guy out of his body, and you can't take it out after this, so make sure you've got this out. Fold it down. There you go. And then fold these. And the arms drop into like these little crevices here, and then it tabs in there. Tab. Tab. And there you've got the body. And uh, yeah. Dragon heads become hands because that's what they do. And yeah, looks pretty good. Put the head on. Ah, oh, stupid thing. <clears throat> there you go. And he's quite nice. Uh, there you go. And he is quite accurate to the old G1. Yeah, you can have the wings out. There's not really much in the way of cable. I mean, you could argue the tail bits, uh, maybe the hands sticking out the back here, but not much in the way of cable at all. And he looks very much like the G1 figure. And it's really good. Uh, I never had the G1 figure, but I've seen pictures and stuff, and this is exactly what it looks like. Um, <coughs> on me. It's good. You can still leave pegged onto the back, which is fine. Um, and make sure these hands don't get quite in the way when you're doing it. There you go. Leave that on the back. Looks alright. You can split it. Because these are Titan return guns and that's what they do. You can split it. And you can use these big obvious peg holes on the sides of the heads. Uh, come on. Again. There you go. Again. There we go. 
only thing is you then got to hold the head sideways and then the arms bend inwards. It's a little bit weird, but you, you, you know, you can do that. Pew, 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 pew. Looks a little bit weird. Alternatively, because they've given you yet another option, you can use these tabs that uh, he uses to attach on the back, and you put them in these big slots in the shoulders. Uh, and I've turned it 90 degrees and couldn't find out where because I'm an idiot. Uh, this can take a bit of fiddling because the shoulder will like to turn. But you can do that. Sort of pseudo gun cannon if you're so inclined. Um, you can do that if you want. Kids are and I like to think that these dragons can breathe fire because dragons, uh, I generally just leave it on the back, to be honest with you, but I don't mind this rather than him holding them in the sides of the dragon's heads. So let me just shove this back. Yeah, man. There you go. I'll right, shove this side back. Um, yeah, um, it's got loads of articulation, you know, all the legs go, um, this skirt raises up so you can go forward, but, you know, a little bit weird. Um, got a bit of ankle, you know, twists, a bit of folding down, uh, sorry, a bit of down and up, but doesn't go any higher, obviously. Uh, arms in and out and all the rest of it, but he's a bit gorilla fisted, but, yeah. Rotation, uh, wings going in about. Standard, standard, there's nothing that... Like if there's anything you, you're going, oh, I wish you did that, then you're probably a little bit spoiled. It'll do most things that you want. It's just a shame that the arms are gorilla fisted. Now, this fella goes quite well with clobber. You remember clobber? I hate clobber. <laughs> I don't know why, I just hate clobber. Uh, but he goes reasonably well with him. Um... Yeah, because it's like little sort of dragony, dinosaury beasties. You know, they they kind of work quite well together. You give him that. It it does look ridiculous because of how long the peg is, and it only just tabs in there. But that's not the real reason. I think that he should go quite well with clobber, and this stupid thing's just come off. That's not the real reason. I think he should go quite well with clobber because what you do, if you open up this silly little stupid thing here. Yeah, clobber out. Oh, right, clobber. Turn him into his uh, head mode. And you swap him. Because what's clobber actually for? Yeah, what what robot is he actually that we're never going to get a body for? That in properly. No, there you go. Grimlock, baby. I'm not the world's biggest Grimlock fanboy. I like him fair enough, but I'm not as big a fanboy as a lot of people. But the Grimlock head works really well on this body. Because it's, you know, it's a grey body, like his old G1. But yeah. In fact, let's adjust the white a bit more. There you go. But Grimlock. Yeah, man. So you can do that if you like. You could. I dare say people are going to paint this up and you know give Grimlock his own body. But you know, that kind of works. It works. He lives. And then, if you really want to, you can do the whole clobber thing with this guy. Uh, he hasn't got the painted on teeth like clobber. Uh, sorry, molded in teeth on the legs like clobber has. But you can do it if you're so inclined. It just saves him lying around, really, doesn't it? There you go. Now oh, it looks even more silly. I quite like this figure. Um, he's now one of those characters that I... I knew, because they came in, like, what, season three, something stupid like this, like, more of the obscure Japanese ones that I, I never saw when I was a kid. Um, but, yeah, he's uh, he's quite fun. 
Um, this is just one of those figures you just pick up and mess around with because it's it's just fun. And then he gets his uh, very scatter shot looking head. That's all I think of when I see this. It's his head looks very much like scatter shot. But yeah, I, I, I like this little figure, uh, I like the design and all the rest of it, and it's quite nice to have a, an Autobot beastie. Uh, he is roughly the same kind of height as them. I didn't bother doing a, an animal comparison because it's basically deluxe size. You can't, it's not like I could go, oh, the, the, the dragon's the same size as Sunstrip. It doesn't work. You can't, I can't do it, sorry. But yeah, he's quite a nice little thing. Uh, he's quite fun. Uh, do like that. Do like that a lot. So, I'm going to stop gushing, and uh, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one that I might film today. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Doodle pip! <laughs>